<laughs> to my life. They're throwing a lot on your plate right now. It seems like, is this an interesting experience for you to continue to try to add more to your game and kind of expand your repertoire? Oh, no, that's definitely what I'm doing right now. Uh, you know, just, just experimenting with different things, uh, running the point guard position. Uh, you know, just making plays off the ball, on the ball, facilitating. I'm you know, just trying to add that to my game to be a better player. A lot of guys might come into this and just try to put up numbers and, and try to kind of do the highlight play routine. Oh, yeah. how, how important is it for you to kind of play within yourself and, and really execute on some of those things that they're asking? You know, actually, I talked to Billy. I talked to uh, Darko, you know, before this even, before we even started playing. I just told them. You no, know, actually, they told me, you know, you don't, you don't have to worry about the big numbers, you know, most guards come back once these, like, want these big numbers. I was like, that's one thing I'm definitely not worried about, just worried about getting better, adding to my game, just be, uh, becoming the best player I can become. Eric, there have been some times that it's looked a little bit like, because they've thrown so much at you, you're thinking out there a little bit. Oh, yeah. Is that a bit of a process? I mean, it's definitely tough, but like you said, it's a process. And that's what Darko, uh, you know, preached to me in practice the other day. It was like, you know, just... He, he saw me, I was, I was thinking too much, I was worrying too much. He was like, it's a process, you know, just play your game, just keep going, and uh, just just keep like, just like keep going, honestly. Do you think you've been able to take more of a leadership role now that's in your second year? Oh yeah, definitely, you know, uh, and I'm just teaching these young guys, you know, just to, to play the right play, uh, play the, play basketball the right way, it's no one-on-one, -on -one, or just it's team ball. And, uh, and I, I feel like an older guy, but I'm pretty sure I'm still the youngest out there. So it's, uh, it's pretty funny. How big a difference from this year to from this year to last year? Uh, you know, last year coming in a rookie, not knowing what to expect uh, with the game, uh, different pace. You know, but this year, you know, uh, definitely got my head on right, know what to expect, know how to play the game the right way. And uh, so right now, I'm just teaching and learning myself. Terrence, former team manager of yours, uh, Mitch Craig's here with Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you reckon his chances are of, where, where uh, of getting the two-way? He's here. He's here at four thirty. Mitch, Mitch is a really good player. Not gonna lie, Mitch is a really good player. I used to hate going against him in uh, in practice. You know, he's a very physical player. Uh, he's probably be, what six five, but like he's strong as hell. He just uh, like I said, a physical player. But he, he got me better each and every day. How's it gonna go down if you get a chance to play against him in the second week? Uh, I definitely got to go out and meet at Mitch. You know, that, that's my guy, but uh, definitely I go out with him. But you know, I, I hope it's the best for him. You played really fast here, and the ball has moved. I hope Billy's talking about wanting to do that a little bit more. The Thunder is, is, is the way you're playing, a way you can see that translating to your team. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, throughout the whole training camp, that's all we uh, focus on was uh, fast-paced offense. Get into even even getting into our plays, you know, at a, at a, at a fast pace. And uh, just hoping to transition that into the regular season when we play. Thanks, Terry. Oh, yeah, I gotta get my Xbox, guys. I gotta get my